Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. STO satellite calibration rolls last night. Always a little weird to watch those. We are hitting the top science news at the galactic and planetary levels here today. We'll also check out the sunspots and coronal holes. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star where it was another quiet day. I confirmed that quiet during the calibration roll using GOES SUVI. No flaring even from the bigger sunspot turning in. No eruptive activity, especially in Earth's direction, and that leaves us on watch for eruption while we wait for the coronal hole stream of the solar wind. Sunspots are sparse, it's still the northern incoming group carrying the complexity, but even still it's not huge, and there is a separation between the leading and trailing umbral cores. We do have eyes open for flares there, but the bigger story is the massive coronal hole it's facing Earth today, initiating the earthquake watch. The solar wind won't be here until Saturday or Sunday, but no way this one misses us. We're watching for that too. First up in the science, cold hydrogen gas clouds embedded within the Fermi bubbles. Not only is this the first ever spotting of the features, but they shouldn't be there. The Fermi bubbles are hot and violent. These clouds are cold and clumped. The models don't allow for them to exist, and yet they're there. Back to the drawing board. Adding to the mountain of papers on pre-earthquake anomalies here, this one targets the biggest quakes and finds the ionospheric precursors regularly, indicating that the pre-shake process indeed excites the entire vertical atmospheric column above the earthquake zone all the way up to the top of the sky. Top story today, folks. Most of you have probably heard the news, and while Earth is speeding up its rotation, the initial data in suggests we just missed the fastest day record yesterday. We'll have two more chances to break that this year during the speed peaks, but for now, no record broken, just the continued above average rotation speed, shortening the length of the day. Folks, we've got stuff going on pretty much constantly the rest of the month. Pole Shift Conference is sold out this weekend. Next one is next month. We've got the Permaculture class, Observer Speed Dating, and the Family Prepping class taking us into August. The Permaculture class was our highest rated prepping unit so far. Everyone loved it. The Family Prepping course will not only be informative, but very fun. Great thing to do with the whole crew. Check out all the events coming the rest of the year as well, especially the experience in October. Only a few spots left for the maker of steel. This course is two and a half days of immersive readiness of the mind, spirit, and body with the tools to keep it going until the sun turns red and beyond. Special link to that below. The event info and registration for everything else is at ObserverRanch.com. Both of those links are found right there below the video. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.